Hey guys, welcome back to Jackie's Southern Soul. In today's video, I'm going to be making overstuffed twice baked potatoes. And these potatoes are stuffed with cheddar cheese, bacon, and lots of butter. It reminds you of a loaded baked potato that you get at the restaurant, but it's kicked up a notch. All right, I know you're going to love it. Let's get started. Okay, this is the potatoes that I got from Sam's today. Y'all, this, I've never got baking potatoes from Sam's before. I never even paid attention to their baking potatoes, but this right here pack is the biggest potatoes I've ever seen. The biggest roasting potatoes, and they're russet. Russet makes a creamier baked potato, so you always wanna use russet potatoes for your potato salad. I'm sorry, <laughs> for your baked potatoes. This right here is a 15 pound bag, so it's pretty big. Um, there's six of us here, so I'm only gonna have to use three potatoes because I'm gonna bake the potatoes and then split them in half. Then I'm going to, um, each one of us is gonna have a half of a potato because I'm gonna put some goodness inside of it. Okay, um, maybe I will do four potatoes. That way I'll have overflowing potatoes because these twice baked potatoes are really good and I hope you like the recipe. All right, let me get them washed up and we can start. Okay, y'all, I'm coming over here to the sink. I'm trying not to get in the way <laughs> of the um, video, but what I'm gonna be doing is washing these off. I'm gonna scrub them. Then I'm going to coat them with some olive oil. And when I was growing up, we would always coat it with shortening. But I'm gonna coat them with olive oil and some salt and pepper once I get them washed off. And you don't have to be too crazy about when you're washing your potatoes off. Okay, you're just gonna scrub them. Rinse them off and then scrub them a little bit. I'm not gonna cut any of the bad parts of the potatoes, which these look pretty good, except for maybe that right there and that right there, but I'm not gonna cut that out because we're not gonna eat the peelings of this. Okay. And then I'm gonna gently scrub them. You just scrub, just scrub it up, dub. That way, I don't get anything, any grit off of it. And these are pretty clean. Nothing really going down to the sink. And these are big potatoes, so it's probably gonna take, um, I don't even know, I'm not even gonna try to tell you how long it's probably gonna take these to get done, but what we're gonna do is put them in the oven, and we'll come back and check them in about an hour and a half, and they should be done. I got my oven on 450 degrees, okay? Now we are going to dry them off. That's the fingernail polish coming out. Okay, so I need to get my nails done, y'all. Can't get them done until tomorrow. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put the pan over here and put these back in here and I'm gonna coat them with the olive oil and salt and pepper. I'm taking my bath in this here. This will give them a little bit of flavor. There we go. I'm washing my hands, y'all. 
Okay, now the only thing I'm gonna do is to sprinkle salt and pepper on them. And the reason I started putting salt and pepper on them is because I was going to different restaurants and I would taste the um, outside of it, of the potato sometimes, and it would be salted. So I started doing that myself. And it really changes the flavor, but these are gonna be twice baked potatoes, so it's gonna be loaded with flavor anyway. All right, now I am going to take the potatoes and I'm going to wrap them in aluminum foil. This helps them to cook faster. I'm not gonna puncture it. Put it away where the seal is. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna put that one right there so it's open a little bit. Okay, y'all. Oh, look at there. I don't feel any hesitation in that potato. Okay, so potatoes are done. I have them cooking for an hour and 45 minutes. Now we're gonna prep them, we're gonna let them cool down. We're gonna let them cool down a little bit and then we're going to get everything ready to mix everything up together. Okay, I want to show you everything that's gonna go into the twice baked potatoes. We have some Harmel real bacon bits. Now if you want to, you can cook you some bacon and crumble that up in there. But if you don't have time to do that, this Harmel is the best thing you can get. Okay, we're gonna put some parsley flakes, some chives, some mayo, Duke's mayo, of course. We're gonna put in some garlic, salt and pepper. This is a whole stick of butter. And I'm gonna end up putting about a cup and a half of sharp cheddar cheese in here. Now, this is a uh, potato masher that I bought that I do not like. I, I, for some reason, I don't like this. I'd rather use the good old metal kind. This is the kind I grew up using. And this is the kind I'm gonna use today. This right here, I don't know what it is about this, but I just don't like it at all. Okay, so I pulled out my cheese grater. For those of you who've never seen me use it before, this is a blessing in the kitchen. And I wanted to show you just how quick you can get your cheese grated up. I think I need to put that up under there <laughs> to catch your cheese. Okay, the only thing I would tell you to do is make sure that your cheese is really cold when you do this. And you're going to need to take it out of the grinder when you're going. Never stop because if you do, it gets clogged up. And you don't want to get clogged up. Okay, but having cold cheese helps it to not get in there like that. I just didn't stop it in time to clean it out. Okay, so there we go. You want to just make sure that you keep it moving. And it helps a lot with us older ladies who may be um, experiencing some arthritis in our arms. You don't have to worry about it. You get this little here thing here and you crank that cheese right out. Next thing you know, your macaroni and cheese is gonna be in the oven. I'd rather it get stuck on here than in there. So just make sure that it's good and cold. And stop about halfway through to pull it out. Okay, look at that, all this cheese. And this was a two pound block. I used to dread grating cheese. Now, it's a snap. Let me just pour it into here so I can keep on going. I don't buy cheese that's grated anymore. I buy it even before I bought this little gadget. I grate it myself because I just like it 
better myself because you know they have the cellulose in it when you get it already grated and the cellulose helps it from sticking help, helps to keep it from sticking together so when you buy it in the store it's not a one clump over time so this is almost two well it is two pounds of cheese that's grated with a quickness. And it just falls out of there. Okay guys, this is it for this right here. So I'm going to leave a link in the description telling you how to get this. And of course I got it off Amazon. Can't remember the price, maybe it was $29 or something like that. But I'll have all those details in there with the link. All right, now back to the potatoes. Okay, now I can get the potatoes ready. And these are hot, so we want to be careful. And the gloves help me with the heat a little bit. Okay, first we're going to take the foil off. today okay so what we're gonna do is this is just gonna be the filling and these are the prettier ones so we're just gonna scoop the potato out let's see yeah all right be careful when you're doing this you want it to still be thick when you buy these in a the store, that shell of potato skins are thick and the stuffing or the filling just sits right in there on top. So that's what you want right there.
Okay, so now what we're gonna do is put the rest of our ingredients in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in the shells. Okay, now let's see how about that. Okay, so let's come on back over here a little bit so we can see everything that we're gonna put in here. Now what we're gonna start out with is our dry ingredients. And this right here is just something that I'm using on my own. You can season it however you want to season yours. I'm going to start out with the parsley. That's going to give it the pretty green color. And this is one tablespoon. Okay. And we're going to put in some chives. The same amount. And this is what we're using. And this is from Members Mark. Oh, this is from Tony's Members Mark. Okay, now we're going to put some garlic in here. This is what I got from Walmart, Iberia. This is going to be one teaspoon of minced garlic. Now we're gonna put the whole stick of butter in here. And this is two tablespoons of mayo. And it's kind of heaping. Yep, this is gonna be some really good potatoes. Now, I'm going to use this again with my crumbled bacon bits. Four tablespoons. Okay, now we're going to take this spoon. I'm going to mix everything up together. Let's see how we're looking. this to be mashed like mashed potatoes but you are going to mash it but just not to the mashed potato consistency so you're going to mash it down and get the biggest lumps out of here all right it smells good Now we're going to put one teaspoon of salt. And half of a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, when it comes to my cheese, y'all, <laughs> we love cheese. So, I'm just gonna just freehand. You can put as much cheese as you want to, but mm, yeah, that's good right here. Now, we're gonna continue to mash. Just so you can get the biggest lumps out of it. But you want a chunky consistency. The potatoes are really cool. So what we're gonna do is bring them over here. 
and we're getting ready to stuff the shells very carefully okay and you want them to be over full I wish some more of my shells had survived, but they didn't, so. Great Kiko and Sierra are for me with these. Especially Kiko. Amazing. Yeah. So you want to get them over stuffed like that I was asked to make some more sides because usually I'm doing um, the entrees and I don't do a whole lot of sides so this year earlier in the year I was asked if I could start showing them some more sides. So, I'm trying to do that for y'all. Okay. So this is how we're gonna, this is how they're gonna be stuffed, okay? We could put the rest of the filling in there, but we're not. Because what we're gonna do next is put some more cheese on the top of it. I'm gonna save this right here. You can, this is how much we have left. So you can either put that on the top or you don't have to. Okay, so. Let's see what looks good. There we go. And we're going to just top it with some more cheese. as much or as little as you want. Okay, then we're gonna top it with a little more bacon. We're gonna put some more parsley on the top. Okay, so that's enough parsley. So we're gonna pop these in the oven after uh, about 20 minutes. We're gonna bring them out, let them cool a little bit, and then we're going to slather them with some sour cream on the top. All right. All right, y'all, we got the potatoes in the oven and we're gonna let them cook for 20 minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, the twice baked potatoes are done. The total cooking time was 25 minutes from the time I put them back into the oven. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna carefully take them out of the pan. Okay, so I'm going to gently lift it out. Want it to stay together. Okay, we're gonna put three over here in the serving dish. 
because not everybody eats um, sour cream on top of their potatoes. So this is for the kids. And we're just gonna give them a dollop of Daisy. And they can add more if they want to at the table. But this is what it's gonna look like when you serve it. And you can put some more chives on that if you want to. Let's see. Just to make it even more prettier. And that's how we're gonna serve it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is show you what it looks like inside. And this can is still hot. Okay, you're gonna take your fork. Let me come on the other side so you can see it real good. This is what they're gonna be digging into. The cheese is in there. It's melty and it's really good. It looks like a loaded baked potato that you get from the restaurant, okay? So that is what we're gonna eat tonight with our dinner. Okay guys, this is our end product. Look at that, doesn't that look good? All topped off. This is twice baked potatoes, kicked up a notch. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the presentation. If you try this, it's gonna be so good. You can mix and match, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can delete some of the things I did or you can add to it, but make it your own, okay? All right, guys, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each time I upload a new video, hit that notification bell below. Thanks and God bless.